Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 64. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, so we're taking part in the Ferrari F430 Challenge, a race featuring Ferrari's curvaceous F430. That's a really fancy word, curvaceous. Uh, we're going to be starting off with Sebring, moving on to Silverstone. Nürburgring, Mugello, <laughs> and then Road Atlanta. <laughs> Sorry, for anyone watching this on YouTube in the future, someone's just played I like to play with my penis. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is some racetrack. Actually, I want to show everyone something quickly while we're here. If you look at the uh, racetrack here, I'm going to show this for YouTube as well. We'll uh, carry on with the event in a minute. But uh, actually, there's all the um, Le Mans winning cars. Obviously, my filtered distance isn't there, but it shows every single year that has won uh, the 24 hour of Sebring. I think this is a pretty cool addition to the game because uh, it definitely wasn't a necessary thing for them to add, but I think it's pretty cool. I spotted this as I was um, taking photos for thumbnails and I was like, that looks pretty cool actually. And then I noticed, like, because I, I went and I searched it up on Google, like, the winners of um, Sebring 24 Hour. And, um, yeah, it's all the winners. It's a really cool thing, actually. So, uh, enjoy that one. <laughs> like, again, I know I shouldn't be surprised, because a lot of games do that, but it's pretty cool that they go that much into detail to make it as realistic as possible especially for a game from 2007 most developers wouldn't bother with that stuff they just you know make it look like the track somehow but not go into depth oh god uh that was not the stream that was actually my console then that just started that was strange i did not like that i really love this blue f color though it's like turquoise blue. Oh my god. I'm in the bin. Let him touch some grass. He were in VR too long. <laughs> Unbelievable. Something's staring me down. And die. Can't help but feel it's coming from you. We're going back. <laughs> that is the one thing that bugs me. That really bugs me. Is um, when people get in an absolute pissy because you've accidentally called them something that they're not and like expecting other people to be like more aware and stuff like that and like make you out to be an asshole because you've accidentally misgendered them or something like that that bugs me that's my bug bear big time like genuinely about six months ago I had a conversation with a Someone who sounded like a woman, but got absolutely pissed off that I said her, to the point that I had a, like a lecture. Or she tried to do a lecture. Sorry, he tried to do a lecture. 
I was just like... You look like a woman. You sound like a woman. How am I supposed to know that you're a man from that? Like... And, and my response was, well, I'm an attack helicopter. You misgendered me earlier. <laughs> and her... But it's still confusing me. Their response was, uh, now you're taking the piss. Which just had me in stitches. <laughs> it just had me in stitches. <laughs> uh, but like... It's just a weird... The internet's a weird place. I'm blaming TikTok. Because TikTok has made it so that any idiot can have a voice. And be heard. Like, genuinely. Yeah. Like... It's daft. Any idiot can have a voice on the internet now with TikTok. Because TikTok will just be like, Hey, you see this, you see this, you see this. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm, I'm reasonable. Like, if you're like... If you acknowledge the fact that it's difficult for pretty much the world to understand that, because for the past, like, since humans existed, we followed this same idea of, you know, if you're a man, you look like this. If you're a woman, you look and sound like this and all that. If you understand that, because it's only been the past five years where this has actually become common. It shouldn't be, because it's crazy. But sometimes it's crazy. But if you're reasonable and you're like, I know that I look like this and sound like this, but I'm actually this. Could you please call me that? Then I'll respond with, I'll try. I may forget from time to time, but I will try my best. I do the same with Pandy uh, and Ray, who I know Fallen knows who Pandy is. I will sometimes say she, and I'll sometimes say he. That's just gonna happen. It's habit. And habits, it, it's like if you're addicted to drugs. Like, it's difficult to get off it. It's difficult to get out of that mindset. For me, like, for the rest of my life, I'm gonna make that mistake. Because for 20 years of my life, I've been used to that. So, yeah, and even then, like... Pandy's accepting about it and knows that it's difficult to get used to that. So Pandy doesn't, you know, threaten me and shit if I make a mistake. And that's how I expect everyone to be. Like, by all means, if someone turns around and say I sound a bit like a woman, I've had that a couple of times. My voice is quite high-pitched. Like, I don't go and say, you fucking asshole. How inconsiderate, you prick. I don't go like that. I'm just like... Cheers for that. <laughs> but I got facial hair, you know? <laughs> and, uh, you, you know... I... I don't like saying they. It's... They is a really tough one for me. Because... I feel like I'm not identifying you because of that. And that feels weird for me to not do that. Because it feels extremely disrespectful. If I was told they, I would feel like someone isn't identifying me at all. So, I wouldn't be able to call someone they. It just doesn't sit right with me. No matter what opinion anyone has, it's extremely difficult. Because that's how life has been. And it, do it does feel like you're not identifying someone. And I, I know people don't mind it. But I do. Because, you know, it's just, you know... You're not identifying... It's, it's like, you know, a chopping board. It. You know.
It's a very difficult. It is a very difficult situation. And obviously, it's, it's, it's going to be hard. But, you know. Um, to be honest, I'll use their name. If I'm referring to someone and I don't know their gender, I will use their name more than often. That's how I normally refer to them. And I'm using the term them because I'm not actually identifying someone at this point. If I'm identifying an individual, then I will use either their name or he or she. If I'm identifying a group of people, or like a generalization, then them probably suits better. They are doing this, so... Assume you're talking to someone about the person in the text chat, and the person you're talking to does not know the person in chat. Then I'll say their name and say, someone I know. Like, I really d hate using the word they to identify someone. Because it's always been used in a context to identify a group or a gang of people or whatever. Oh, they're causing trouble again. Or they're doing this. They're doing that. They're going out. They're, you know... as a group it doesn't identify an individual and that's why it feels uncomfortable for me to say that you know and by all means different people are going to feel different ways but yeah I know it's a fair middle ground but it I wouldn't want to misidentify someone either Not bad. This Ferrari is really nice around this track, I'll be honest. I'm going to get the uh, thumbnail from this track. Alright, here we go. Silverstone. I love the look of Ferraris. Every Ferrari that's ever been made is a visually stunning car. My god, do they have to be so fucking expensive? <laughs> it will be the thing that gets me cancelled, but I don't care. Like, it's an obvious point. Yeah. I'll see you later, Fallen. I'll probably hop in the voice chat or whatnot afterwards. Like, the thing is, it's so easy to get cancelled anyways. Like, I'm, I'm prepared for it. I'll get cancelled for saying that I brush my teeth three times a day or something. Like, that's how cancelable you are on the internet nowadays. Oh no, I brush my brand... My, my teeth with this brand of toothpaste. And unfortunately, this brand of toothpaste has... 0.1 extra gram of CO2 that gets released into the atmosphere. You must be an earth hater. Cancel him. Like, that's the level that this world's gotten to. It sucks. You know. Like, by all means... The only positive that's come out of this is the fact that nobody on the internet can now go and hate on anyone for no reason. Which is good. But now people are hating on people for dumb 
reasons. For minor things that aren't even... You know. Like, genuine malicious things just won't settle on the internet anymore. At all. No matter what. Which is good. But, like, non-malicious things are being turned into malicious things on the internet now to get people cancelled. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ferrari, Ferrari, Ferrari. Dun, 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 dun. Bum bum banana bum bum banana bum 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 Do you know I actually saw so I saw a TikTok the other day, right? This it was a um, Formula One Basically like someone was doing an online multiplayer session. Right, and this guy, the the guy that was filming his replay camera was having to go with this guy for coming out of the pit lane um, into his car. And because he had to swerve and ended up hitting the wall, I think it was on Monaco or something, um, he ended up having to retire from the race, the guy who hit the wall. Now, the guy who obviously posted this was like, oh, it's all the guy in the pit lane's fault. But the thing was, right, the guy racing who was filming the TikTok um, actually went over the white line for the pit exit, which meant he was inside the pit exit. And oh my god, I have never seen so many people, like, so clueless about motorsport. Like, all the people in the comments were like, yeah, he shouldn't have come out of the pits yet, and it was like not know how motorsport works <laughs> like these are people that are playing ra uh, granted they're playing formula one which is a racing game that's designed to be accessible for anyone so yeah sure the knowledge of racing circuits might not be as familiar in those games they don't teach you about flags like if a, if a red flag comes up or a yellow flag it tells you underneath no overtake it there's no written rules that tells you what actually happens when stuff happens on track. But, like, they went over like this. Like, at that point, I've entered the pit lane illegally because I've crossed the line. It was just a... It was just such a weird TikTok to see so many people... Like, it was 50-50. Like, 50% were saying 
yeah, that guy shouldn't have pulled out the pit lane like that. Be because obviously Monaco, as you pull out, it looks like you're pulling out onto the track. So because people are like, oh yeah, he shouldn't have pulled out. Like, well, that's where the pit lane goes. That's the pit exit. It's just funny. It's not even funny, it's just sad. Oh, not bad. Is this a Cove remix? If this is a Cove remix, I'm about to vibe. It is. This is one of the best drummer based songs of the year. Hands down. Hands down. The best drummer based song of the year. Actually, I think it came out last year, but still, doesn't matter. If it came out last year, then it was 2021's best drum and bass song. Fucking phenomenal. Fade away. This song would be perfect in, like, any racing game. the line don't forget take it on just take it on we've got the symptoms of a cold war nothing for me nothing for say or nothing for free take my life and fade Not bad. Oh no, I went into the pit exit. Whatever will I do? Probably should get a penalty for that, to be honest. I think the FIA gives like a five second penalty if you cross that line. That has to be served on your next pit stop or if it's at the end of the race, it's like 10 seconds. It does suck that the FIA doesn't actually sponsor Gran Turismo anymore. Because when the FIA properly sponsored it, that that was good. And clearly the FIA don't see Gran Turismo as a viable multiplayer game at the moment. That's why they cancelled their... Or they've halted their partnership for this year. And they'll re-trial it next year. See if they can return. 
Pretty surprising they didn't stick with uh, Gran Turismo Sport, though. Kind of makes sense, though, because Sport is an older game. Which is fair enough. Alright, here we go. Nurburgring. Let's go. So, um... By the time this video comes out... Um, Motorsport 3 has definitely started. I've worked out the maths for anyone on YouTube. But, uh, if you are watching on YouTube, it is the 2nd of September that we're going to be starting Motorsport 3. So, uh, save the date. I believe it's the second. Either the second or the third. Yeah, because I'm only going to make 12 videos out of these last events. I don't see the point in dragging it out anymore. Can't believe how long this track is. This is going to be like a 18 minute race. Ferrari. Been battered, and bruised. It's in pain. Fly like an eagle to the sea. Fly like an eagle. Let my spirit carry me. Come on and fly. Come on and fly. We're going on, going on, so take me on. We're going on, going on, Oh no! Crap! Oh, this is not good. Come on, go, 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 go. That car behind is catching up now. Oh, poor Ferrari. It's been ruined. Hey, well, at least we hit our sub goal of uh, three subs a day, so... First time I've hit an actual, like, goal in God knows how long. Months. Actually hit a goal. <laughs> it's definitely been a good stream today. I would love to be able to make, like, being a content creator a full-time job. That'd be awesome. The only problem is... Um... It's just a viewership. There isn't any easy way to get that discoverability. I can't drive this thing on this track. Horrible. There's a reason why they call this a green hell, because it is a shit track. Why is precision? American car would not be able to drive around this easily.
The thing is, you can't actually tell when I'm braking. Because the brake lights are all broken. <laughs> so it just looks like I'm not bothering to brake. Like, look. Slammed on the brakes there. Absolutely nothing. Oh, I was reading chat. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Honestly, around the Nurburgring is just horrendous for me. I hate it. It is a tough track. God, imagine if I didn't actually kick back up my Twitch channel when I initially tried doing this, completing all the Forza games. I would probably be on Motorsport 4, probably even beyond that by now. I think I would have been on... Actually, I might have even gotten close to the end, like Motorsport 6, something like that. But I would have been bored out of my mind talking to myself over and over again. At least now I've got chat to motivate me and keep me going. Thing is, I was planning on doing all the live streams on YouTube. Back in 2020, when I was sort of planning out recording content, I was like, hmm, maybe I should record it for um, stream on YouTube and then record it and edit it and then upload it as YouTube videos. I don't realize how dumb of an idea that was because then what's the point in editing it? If you're going to keep the streams up. So I'd have to delete the streams. But then deleting the stream sort of gets rid of the purpose of streaming on YouTube. So it was like a really weird... And especially if I uploaded a video on the Falls of Mega series. And then I was streaming Falls of content like immediately afterwards. Typically that wouldn't go down very well people wouldn't watch so yeah I basically just decided let's go on Twitch Twitch people can watch it live the YouTube people can watch it edited and if the YouTube people want to watch it live they can come and become a Twitch person <laughs> it's a simple way of fixing that <laughs> modern problems require modern solutions Come on down to the other side. To the gates of hell. Where you belong. Whew. Looks like I'm about to lose this car again. Managed to keep control. I've just noticed how low the engine is inside of the Ferrari. It seems a lot lower than it actually should be. I thought the engine is normally a lot higher up than that. That looks really low down. Nine five nine point nine one nine. That's with all the penalty time. That's ridiculous. My brain was predicting um, eighteen minutes, and it looks like it's going to be eighteen minutes because it was nine minutes and like eight seconds before I crossed the line. So. <laughs> I 
Ah, uh, keep it under control. There you go, result. Belong. Come on down to the underside. A tarantula. A tarantula. And if your body going stiff and your spine going numb, you're about to get stung. <laughs> Man, that song's a fucking tune. Pendulum makes some absolute bangers. It's just such a shame that... I mean, they did split off and make Knife Party, and Knife Party made some tunes as well, I'll be honest. But, like, I really wish Pendulum stayed together as well. Because even Knife Party stopped in 2016 and didn't make anything for about three years. So, like, I don't know. And I mean, when they did come back, they made three songs. So it wasn't anything spectacular. They made a song a year, but they were away. Imagine spending a year on a song. I mean, I could make a good song in months. Well, maybe about six months for the first song, because I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. Once I know what I'm doing, it wouldn't take that long. Play with my side, I might sting ya. And if your body going stiff and your spine going numb, you're about to get stung.
It's definitely harder for me to get the power down now that my car's damaged. Still can't believe it. 18 minutes for a goddamn race. I do think it's better that when you move on to the later Forza games, um, more specific, actually, no, five, I think Motorsport 7 still had like locked in championships, sort of like how this game has it. Um, but when it comes to like Motorsport 3, 4, 5, 6, you can complete events at your own pace. Obviously, I'm going to be doing them in order, so it's not as important. But when it comes to, like, people who were casually just playing Forza Motorsport 3, then you could just pick whatever events you wanted to. Pick some events, complete them, there you go. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. I have not said that saying in a fucking long time. Oh my god. Your body going stiff and your spine going numb. You're about to get stung. I can't agree with that. Especially in this Ferrari. I think the damage speaks for itself. <laughs> I don't even think I need to say that I don't like this track that much. I just think I need to show this picture of this car and just be like, yeah, there's your answer. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not a great fan of the Nürburgring, just in general. It's quite a complicated circuit. 640's not bad, actually. It was an 828 for that final lap, but we didn't go off, which is good. Woohoo! All right, we have... Two more races left to go. It's going to be past me. It's crazy. I'm definitely going to have to start the uh, tomorrow stream at six. Because tomorrow's stream is going to be even longer. There's more races. I think there's one more race. But one of them's an endurance, so it'll feel shorter. In fact, it will be shorter, because it's a 50-minute race, which would take about 55 minutes to record, compared to 50 minutes of races, but it takes, like, two minutes between each one to load, and takes some time to set up, and... So, yeah. Mm, tomorrow, I'd still start at six. This car literally belongs in Mugello. It's a Ferrari, and yet it's sliding all over the place. Oh. That was me trying to get out the dirt then, and then once I was on tarmac, it was just whoop. Pulls to the side. I swear the Ferrari F430 revved up to like 10,000 RPM, so I've got no clue why the red line is at eight and a half. Seems like a weirdly low red line. Yeah, it maxes out at 9,000 on this. There's a rev limiter. I thought the re red line was at 9,000 and then it would rev limit at about 10,000. Strange, to say the least. I 
I still hate the fact that new... I, I was watching a Car Wow video, right? And it showed... Uh, I believe it was an Audi. And genuinely, the red line lowers if you're not running the car. Like, if you're not driving. So you're not allowed to rev the engine while you're driving. Uh, while you're standstill, sorry. So you can't rev your engine. Like, you can soft... It's got a soft limiter of, like... 3,000 RPM. So when you're pulling away, you can only go... Mm, and then you can give it the beans. Like, that's such a stupid thing. What if you need more power than that? Wait. Unbelievable. I can't believe that car companies are doing that. Like, putting rev limiters like that on. I want to be able to rev the arse off my car. <laughs> to be honest, that's part of the excitement of owning a car. Result. Looking good. Move this a bit closer to my face so I can talk a bit quieter. Because it's late. That's what she said. This car's beautiful around this track. Look at that scenery. I would love to go to Magello one day. Love to go there. Drive around Magello. I'd love to go to Japan. Go around Suzuka in a Japanese car. bad. Coming to the halfway point in this race. Song called Salt in the Wounds, I think it is. It said Wounds, so I assume it's that one. It was a good tune. Pendulum makes some good tunes.
This car is ridiculously slow. I do like this Ferrari, but... It's definitely a step down from what we've been driving. I mean, we've been driving fast race cars and then all of a sudden... Oh, look! Ferrari F430. I think the balance of this game is all wrong. Um, I don't know. If you do it in order, I suppose, yeah. Something slower to bring you back down. Yeah, maybe it is alright. I remember this song in a uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Self versus self. How do I get home? Mm -hmm. Why is this tailpipe completely black? One on the outside is just completely black. It's strange. Odd, in fact. Weird. Yeah, the other one's gone completely black as well. No, the other one's still got a bit of shine on that. It's just in the shade. That is strange why it's doing that. I love that there's just a comfortable convoy of just Ferraris. Can I get a hi, oh, yeah? Cannibal, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? Yeah, look. Now you can see the exhaust tip. But not the other one. That's so weird. This Ferrari's lost an exhaust. It's just gone.
All right, here we go. Let's do a spin at the end. Meow. Bonk. Not bad. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's get this done quickly. I want to sleep. I've been streaming for five hours and thirty-four minutes. Uh, it is midnight. I would like to go to sleep at some point today, if I'm allowed. So, uh, we're going to try and proper focus and get this done as quick as possible. Look what happens when I focus. Look at that. I drive so much better. Fucking floor in it. Guess what, though? On a normal day, I've got a fucking chat to chat. Focus on chat. Rather than focusing on finishing the goddamn content. Oh. Car and cell phones raise, bleeding on the sofa. Staring at the wasteland, it's coming and she knows it. Even though she knows why. I'm actually surprised this thing can get round here in a minute 30. That actually surprises me. Back on the track. There we go. We gotta get out. Go far away. Hey. The fact that Pendulum could play all of these, like, instruments. Like, I'm pretty sure all the songs were made with a computer. I'm pretty certain. Like, the studio songs. But the fact that they're easily transferable into, like, an actual band atmosphere is just crazy. Pendulum's extremely talented. Crazy good. I 
not bad. This is looking really good. It's actually a lot easier to play this game when you're actually focused, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clearly, I just get distracted by Twitch chat too much. Or trying to read Twitch chat. So yeah, it's kind of a kind of a challenge. I'm just uh pretending to make the music for people who are watching on YouTube. They can't hear it. Oh Jesus. Cutting penalty there. Oh, look at that, one twenty seven point Not bad. Not bad at all. I like that. This car's actually really good around this track. Look at that split time as well. Oh my god. It's like someone else is driving. <laughs> it's not, but imagine. It's like a stick, James May in the stick situation. Just got the stick in the boot of the car. Well, there's not really a boot, is there? But, you know. still beat the time even though I went off at the end. That means there's so much time to be gained in this track. Yo, Sinsu, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? You're just catching us for the end of this stream. We got this lap, and then two more laps, and then that is us done. I'm literally going to end the stream immediately after this race. Once I press stop recording, it's on the end screen. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm ending it. <laughs> I'm ending the stream. Hey, good to hear, Sinsu. Good to hear you're having a good day. push as much as we can this lap. See if we can get fastest lap. Probably could have been better. Okay, yeah, we pushed too far on two corners. Completely ruined it. Oh well. Ah, that's why the rear tires are overheating. Uh, warmer than I would like. 
So one thing I really don't like about Forza is you don't really get tyre overheating that much. Same with Gran Turismo. Tyres don't really overheat. Like, they get hot. I think in Gran Turismo, if the tyres get hot, they wear out quicker, and I think it's the same with Forza. But, like, they just instantly cool down to the point that you've got perfect grip again. Even if you overheat them in one corner and then go into the next one. The next corner, they're normally cooled down enough that they're fine. this song? Streamline. I like this. Not bad. chair's not comfortable. I think what I'm going to do is just transfer the footage tonight and then just sleep. I think I'm going to edit all the videos um, on Wednesday. No, Tuesday. Tuesday I'll edit all the videos, Wednesday I'll render them. And then Thursday I'll thingy. Hey, no worries, Kodo. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by. Hopefully we can see you tomorrow when we're going to carry on with some more motorsport too. Yeah, have yourself a good day. Have yourself a good sleep, man. Peace out. Uh, as for everyone else that's in stream, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, it's been great. And that is it. Oh my god, it's so late. I'm gonna continue and then sleep. Transfer the footage. Get my screenshots. Get the fuck offline. <laughs> Have a look, see what we got. Not bad. 430 GT and 85 grand. Nice. Let's have a look and see what this car looks like. Ooh, I like it. But the wing looks a little bit small, I think. Should be a little taller. I like it though. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.